Red Daisy. That's the name of Daisy Martinez's Food Network TV show. And you're going to understand why when you see how Daisy celebrates the holidays. For TV chef Daisy Martinez, the holidays are the most wonderful time to spend with family and friends. She grew up in a large Puerto Rican family in Brooklyn, New York. Her mother and grandmother taught her the joys of cooking tasty Latin food and how to create rich family traditions. Now, Daisy wants to show you how to have some festive fun by adding a little Latin flair to your holidays. Well, please welcome to the 700 Club, Daisy Martinez. It's wonderful to have you Thank here. Thank you, Terry. It's wonderful to be here. You're, you have, well, we have a wonderful book we're going to tell folks about that's so okay. beautifully put together. And you've put a fabulous meal together. But you say that this kind of entertaining really can be done effortlessly. Absolutely. You know, Terry, everyone is so stressed for the holidays, the shopping, the it's guests. The, so I, I try to do things because I'm a mom. It's the biggest hat that, that I wear uh, with do-ahead steps so that at the last minute, my entertaining is stress-free. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you do that even with your table presentation and things like that? Absolutely. You have a, the whole Set the table out. the night before. I get my, my daughter, my 15-year-old, in on, on yes. it. And the day of, it's all taken care of, right? That's one. What have you prepared for us for this we have holiday some really, meal? We have some really festive food. Do you love ceviche? I don't know what ceviche, ceviche is. What I is call that? ceviche Peruvian sushi. <laughs> The great thing about ceviche is that the fish is actually cooked in citrus and lemon, lemon Ooh, and lime juice. Then I do like ceviche. Absolutely. <laughs> the fish is beautiful. It's opaque. It's got great wow. texture. We drain the, cit the citrus. I have some beautiful ruby red uh, grapefruit segments. And I give it a kiss of um, olive oil with some cilantro and mint. Heaven. Ooh. It's such an elegant appetizer. The, great th the greatest thing about this, you do it the day before. Put it in the fridge, forget about it. When you're ready to serve it, you drain it. My kind of item. There it is. <laughs> but look how beautiful this setting is. Well, this is absolutely wonderful. You know, people think for the holidays, turkey. Nobody thinks of chicken. Yes. But chicken is inexpensive, really delicious, and I really uh, uh, gave it, given it a little daisy wow. spin. What did you do to it? I stuffed it with a mushroom picadillo. Ooh. Picadillo means chopped fine, so it's uh, chopped mushrooms, and um, a sweet plantain mash. Sweet Ooh. plantains, not to be mistaken with breakfast bananas. Yes. Uh, they're a little starchier, a little more savory, they're have great too, texture. They? Yeah. Well, they're a little bigger. Oh, a little bigger. Yeah, the, the sweet plantains. And sweet plantains start off as green. They're savory. And when you let that starch turn to sugar, they're delicious. Well, huh. you have the mushroom and the sweet plantain and... Who likes Brussels sprouts? I do. I do. Me I too. Love Brussels sprouts. I don't get people saying, oh, no, I can't get my kids to eat. My kids ask for Brussels sprouts. And what I like to do with Brussels sprouts is just shave them thin. The less you do it to them, the better, because you want texture and taste. A little fennel seed, a little butter, a little salt and pepper, we're good You're to go. good to go. Isn't now, that great? What, what is this? Well, you know, Terry, I love when I have guests for the holidays. I love them to take a little something. I like a little thank you. Yes. Thank you for coming from my home, mm -hmm. for sharing my home, and for helping me create memories for my family. So I like to make coquito, which is the Puerto Rican spin of on eggnog. Ah. It's got evaporated milk, condensed milk, a couple of eggs, and cream of coconut. A little vanilla mm. and cinnamon. Hello, can we say Christmas? Really? I mean, I don't even have to taste it. I can tell it's good. And it's nice to send your guests off with a little something as a token. And it's this whole setting is just so beautiful and welcoming. And festive, right? It is. But and we've, we've got some stuff to do today. We do. What are we going to make? We're making chocolate covered cherry put, uh, so bread pudding. This is the dessert. Yes, this is the dessert <laughs> aspect. I love the, the choice part, of right? this for our live. <laughs> and you know, I have some eggs over here that I'm going to break up. Okay. And while I'm doing that, I have some cream simmering in that, in that uh, pan. Is there something you want me to do to that? <laughs> yes. We're going to add uh, semi-sweet and bittersweet chocolate chips to Should that. Should I do it right now? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn the heat off. Okay. Because I don't want that chocolate to seize. Mm. Just let it sit for a second. Pour the chocolate in. Let it sit for a second. That'll soften the pellets up. What does it mean if it seizes? Well, it gets <laughs> grainy and it, oh. the chocolate kind of breaks. I've added two cups of cream and a cup of sugar to the, the beginning of the custard here. Okay. And we really have to give it a little elbow grease to get it going. So do I just gently keep stirring this? Yeah. You'll, okay. you'll feel. Go ahead. Go ahead and add your chocolate. Okay. And then let's talk about the bread that I'm going to use. Yes. But um, this, this braid is called a challah bread. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, but if you can't find challah, you can use any rich uh, egg bread. Like you can an use egg bread. Okay, brioche right. or anything like that. And the staler the bread, the better. 
Really? And you know what? I think I can accommodate you at my house. <laughs> <laughs> What's great about this is that waste not, want not, yes. right? We want, we yes. have to get that going. Okay, so we cube it up. And like I said, that's it's almost like croutons. You see, it's nice and hard. You feel that? Yeah, the drier it oh, is. Wow, yes. You see, now really that dry. soaks up. That really drinks up the custard. Ah, okay. So this is let's the trick. Do I want this cinnamon in there? Yes. Let's go oh, ahead and just cinnamon. put it all. And what about these are Not yet, not oh, yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. You have a nice satiny. Look at this. That is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's what we want. We don't want the chocolate to break. And then I'm going to ask you uh -huh. to. Pour this into, into this mixture here. Yeah, into the mixture okay. here. Go ahead. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. How beautiful is that? That is satiny. Yum. Isn't that great? That is perfect. And then to that, we're going to add our breadcrumb. And ideally, uh, Terry, we would let this sit for about 30 minutes. Just to soak. Just, Just to soak, soak, because this way the bread gets nice and ooey Ooh. and gooey and custardy and delicious. And what now we can add... What is to like about that? Now we do you want to put the... Now we want our cherries. These are cherries. Dried cherries. How fabulous. Oh, my And you can word. find uh, dried cherries pretty much anywhere anymore. Specialty stores, your health food store. You could do cranberry if you wanted. Ooh. You could add nuts to this. I, I mean... Contrary to what your mama told you, I say play with your food. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're just mixing that up. We are. And then we're going to go ahead and pour it into a buttered baking dish. I don't think we're going to be able to fit all of this in there. And then I'm going to ask you if we Should have I go get the one that's done so we that? can see what the finished product looks like? Great. Oh, yeah. Look, we did. We fit all of it in there. Yummy. And we'll have to oh, bake this one off word. for the crew. This is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. And... Uh, the, the thing that we can't share with folks at home, but we wish we could, is the smell. The smell, isn't it wonderful? It's to die for. <laughs> <laughs> and would you permit me, uh, Terry, to serve you a portion? I would probably dislike you if you didn't. And this is really great. Look at this. Wow. Isn't that, look at the, the oh texture my of that. You know, I like to, I like to make mine um, right as the guests arrive so that they get the beautiful fragrance of that going on in the kitchen. That and you could serve it with a dollop of whipped fabulous. cream or even just a little ice cream. Look at how, how nice and warm it that is. That is amazing. And you get to taste, Miss Terry. Thank you, Daisy. Oh, yum. Mmm. See, I like it like this, nice and hot. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> I can't even tell you how fabulous it is because I just... <laughs> <laughs> want to lift this plate and this fork it is but so it's, good. It's, it's festive it's inexpensive ah. i mean you're, you're using leftovers so it's good kitchen, kitchen economics daisy daisy you get my vote i just <laughs> want you to know her book is called daisy's holiday cooking it's available wherever books are sold also she has a recipe for chocolate covered cherry bread pudding lee webb pat, i knew you'd be pat here told me to come over and get some <laughs> okay. I, I just can't read it <laughs> do you mind using my fork just a minute <laughs> No, I don't mind at all. Okay. I don't mind at all. You have got to taste this. Is this. One of, this is one of nature's miracles, okay, careful, honestly. Warm. Mm. I know. Are you so? Just like. Isn't it great? It's one so of my... be at Daisy's house Christmas <laughs> Eve. We're all going to be there together. Yay! Bread pudding's on the menu. Mm. Along with a lot of other fabulous things. And Daisy and I were just saying how great it is when you can use the traditions of your family to celebrate in your home and create more tradition and with your friends. So get this CBN.com. You'll find the recipe for the bread pudding. Thank you. You're Feliz amazing. Navidad. Amen. <laughs> we're going to be right back with more of the 700 Club after this. And Lee will be here eating <laughs> this. You have to go back to work now. I do, I'll, yes. I'll take care of this. That's not fairly, Webb. <laughs>